Our first question today comes from Gordon, and Gordon asked a question that I don't think gets asked often enough. Data storage, data security for important files and documents. Longtime viewers will also probably already know what my answer to this is going to be. Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. Gordon asks, I have to store lots and lots and lots, that's three lots, of files that I am legally required to. Sounds like a lawyer or a doctor or some type of other regulated profession. I'll be scanning physical documents to external storage connected to the printer to make room in the office. Sounds fancy, although I, many modern printers will do this. It's a quite handy feature if you've got a lot of stuff to do and you have a shared printer. Do you have a recommendation for external storage devices, external SSD, or external hard drives? This is a great question, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that want to know how they handle important documents. Of course, if you have an external hard drive or an external SSD, and it's got your Steam game downloads or files that are easy to replace and just you can re-download them, then data security and storage is not nearly as much of a concern. On the other hand, lots and lots and lots of files that I am legally required to. My dear sir, there's a 3-2-1 backup strategy that you need to become acquainted with, and anybody who has important documents. Do you store your taxes on your computer, your bank statements, your uh, important photos of your family and kids? Yes, I know there's cloud storage. Sure, you've got your OneDrive, G Drive, Dropbox. Those aren't backup. Those are synced, and those can be corrupted and damaged through a bad sync or corrupted login, just like your local files can. They really are absolutely not backup. If you have important documents, or in this case, legally required files, you need three copies of your data in two separate locations, one of which must absolutely positively be off-site in a secure location. Many larger companies will run off-site, basically duplicates of their servers and maintain a complete copy of all their data. They will also run offline backups as well. Too many companies get attacked by ransomware viruses where their computers get encrypted. And if you have an external hard drive or an external SSD, that's just going to get encrypted right along with it. And I don't trust printers to not be affected these days. A lot of printers actually run Linux, and who knows what's on them. Probably an out-of-date and an unsecure version of Linux to boot, because they basically are computers. So you need a backup copy of those documents physically offline. If it's air-gapped and shut down, and it's in a static state, then no amount of corrupted files, no amount of ransomware, no amount of user error is going to accidentally delete all of your files. This is very, very important. Now, putting aside legally required documents, many of you may say, well, I keep my files on an external hard drive. That's fine. Yes. Is your hard drive six, six feet away from your computer? If it is six feet away from your computer, that's not a backup. That's not safe. The same thing that happens to your computer, uh, power surge, lightning strike, fire, theft. I was going to say mass stupidity, but that's not fair because very intelligent people make mistakes. How about a rush of shit to the brain? Yeah, I know, terrible. But the fact of the matter is we are all guilty of doing something dumb and just seconds afterwards going, did I do that? Yeah, you did. I've done it myself. Anybody who's been around computers long enough has done something and gone, oh boy, that was a mistake. You have to have a backup of your data and you need to have an offsite copy. If all of your data is stored in one location, it's not, you basically hate your data. No amount of RAID, no amount of, but I have another copy on a hard drive six feet away. I put it on a second computer in my house. I put it on a second computer in my office. These are not backup. In the long, long before times, before I did YouTube, I had a computer business. I actually started my first computer networking and website development business all the way back in 1996. Those were the early days of the internet. It was an interesting time. I remember one charity that we went and serviced because their local front desk computer had a hard drive failure. It was actually a 386 in 1996, believe it or not. Yeah, it was old by that point. I know you can use your computers for a while, but back then a 386 in 1996 was very old. And all of the charity's data was on this computer. 
And the first question out of my mouth was, where is your backup? And the, the lady sitting there was very proud of herself. And she was like, oh, I have that right here. And she opens a drawer in the desk she's sitting at with the computer and pulls out a floppy disk, a floppy disk. And I look and I say, all of your data is stored on one floppy? And she goes, yeah. I said, how long does it take you to back up your data? She goes, 30 seconds. I said, how large is your data file? She goes, I don't know. All right, let me look at the computer. Well, the hard drive was crashed. The hard drive was totally trashed. That hard drive actually ended up having to get sent off to data recovery. They couldn't recover. The, 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 hard, the magnetic heads had crashed into the platter, uh, run grooves through them, and absolutely destroyed it. They couldn't get anything off of it either. It was an absolute mess. Three years of charity records were on that drive. What was on the backup disk? Well, we took that drive out. We put another drive in, got everything set up. The root folder of the hard drive, not the data folder, nothing. The root, of course it backed up in 30 seconds. It was backing up just the 10 files or so that were in the root directory of the hard drive. They had never tested their backup. They had never looked at the files to see if they were there. And they didn't even have it off site, although it would not have made any difference in this case whatsoever. You should have seen the looks on their faces when I showed them what their backup was. We reinstalled their backup software, we put the disk in, they saw it, and they're like, where's the rest of it? And I said, that's all you backed up. It is unlikely you backed up this entire organization's records onto a single floppy disk. Did you ever test this? And do you have copies of data off-site? They only had paper records. It was a mess. Thankfully, it wasn't my mess. It was an absolute mess. So if you have legally required documents, I don't care whether you store them on an external SSD, an external hard drive, a thumb drive, carrier pigeon. You need more than one copy. They need to be off site and they need to be properly backed up. Which also means, as a side note, I like to tell stories, which is part of what makes our videos so long. It's what I made our live streams even longer. It occurs to me that I have 18 questions to go through and if I give this much information in this one, I'll be here for an hour and a half and very few people are gonna watch this. I may leave this long explanation for the first one, but some of these are gonna definitely have to be shorter than this. Hopefully the length of this video is not the length of a feature movie, in which case, who wants popcorn? URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well. For a real online backup solution, no joke, I recommend Backblaze without any reservation. I've mentioned it many times on the channel before. I've talked about it on the live streams. I've done dedicated videos about it. They are not a sponsor of this channel. I do have an affiliate link. It's in the video description below, but it's the same affiliate link everybody else can get. I don't have any official relationship with them. I've been a paying customer for over 11 years. Long, long before, long before time had a name. I ever had a YouTube channel. It has saved my bacon more than once. The fact that all of your data is backed up quickly to an offsite secure storage with real versioning so that if your local files are deleted, if your local files are corrupted, ransomware, whatever, you still have your data offsite anywhere from 30 days to one year to forever. You can actually select. There's slightly different prices depending on what you pick, but if you are legally required to store those documents, the cost for forever is very inexpensive. And that essentially means that once your files are backed up, they will never be deleted as long as you pay your monthly bill, which means there's no amount of accidental local deletion that will ever lose you those files. Backblaze is a wonderful service starting at just $7 a month for unlimited backup. And if you have important files, why do you not have Backblaze?